name is Russell Scott and I'm going to teach you how to start carving a face, a uh, Santa face, basically like this. I'm going to show you how to get in the nose and the eyes, carve around the beard and mustache. It's a very simple process, very simple video. Um, here's another example here. Carving in the face. And one more sample here. Different different and yet the same. Okay, I'm going to be using a simple block of wood just to demonstrate this. And uh, I want to try to figure out where the top of the head and where the top and the bottom of the head is. It's very important to, understand, to know where that is. And before you get carving on your, uh, on your you start carving the face on the, on the head, uh, you want to start by carving at a 40, 90 degree angle. The face, most of the faces kind of start as a, let's see if I can get that in there, sort of like a 90 degree angle. And uh, what you're going to do is you want to carve, carve it so it's set at a 90 degree angle and then you be, then you find your, your, uh, the top of the head and the bottom of the head. And then draw the eye line which is in the center between the top and the bottom. Eye line is at the top of the between the top and the bottom. I think I might be off just a little bit, but now the nose <coughs> generally the nose is about a third down, but since this is a character Santa Claus, um, we're going to go about half down because we still want to add a, le a little extra wood there, you know, do a little bit of carving, you know. If you have a slip of the knife. Okay, we're going to get started with carving the, the face, just getting, getting started on the face here. And you want to take your knife or chisel or whatever and cut straight down at the bottom of the nose. Kind of cut that out. Like that. Then we're going to go just a little bit above the <clears throat> the tip of the nose, and we want to carve back about about thirty degrees, thirty degrees ish. So it looks something like that. Okay. Now we want to take our pencil, draw the center line back in. Draw the eye line back in. And now we're going to do um, a series of triangles. I like to use them car carving with a knife. Is uh, kind of make like you're making a jack-o'-lantern face by putting in a set of three triangles. Now the eye triangle kind of goes up sharply and short and then long long and flat like that so you can do that without too much of the reflection there now I like to use a knife and try to carve this out in a series of chip carving uh, which we're going to do is upside down uh, pyramids or valleys and you're going to take your knife and you want to carve away from the nose if you're right handed some people have the tendency to carve like this and they would get into the nose and they would go in the wrong direction, take the nose off. So you want to go away from the nose and you want to go deep, right where the eyeball is, right where the eye socket is, and then you pull your knife up shallow. So it's deep and then shallow. Deep down and then you pull up. Same with the eye. You want, you want to point towards the eyeball, let's see, get over here, and you want to sharp down, but uh, bring it up. You don't want to go too, sh too deep on the top of the eye there. You want to come down shallow. This is kind of shallow all the way. All right. Then we're going to carve our first chip by going from the right here to right down there, here to here pointing in now. Remember you, you carved away from, now we're going to carve into and we're going to try to see if we can take that chip out. 
and see if it's going to pop out. Now, sometimes it doesn't pop out. You have to kind of do some recarving here. Right, get in there. And it should pop out like that. Should. My favorite word. Now it's the same. We're, we're going to take a chip off this way. You're going to have your knife parallel to the eye line. And since this, this chip came down, this cut came down this way, you want this cut to come up. You're going to go deeper and deeper. And for that chip to come out. Now it would be nice for it to be clean. Clean it out a little bit. <clears throat> now let's do the other side. Carve away from the nose. Let's see, make sure I got the right angle there. So I can hold it up like this. It is away from the nose. And then come up shallow. You're going to go shallow and then deep. See if I can get my hand around there. So. And then. And this is shallow all the way here. Take that first chip out from here to here. And it came out a little better. Let's go a little deeper. Now you don't have to have this have the depth as perfect as you want right away. What we can do is you can keep working at it. You keep working at the depth and uh, until it gets as deep as you want the eye socket to be. The, uh, the depth of the eye socket also depends on the, on the length of the nose. So in other words, if we want a longer nose, we want a uh, longer nose or a thicker nose, we will have to go a little deeper in on the eye socket. Same thing here, we're going to go parallel. And that should pop out. Should. Now we're getting started here. Uh, one more thing that we want to do is we want to take another chip at the eye line right here. See this is the eye line right here, and we want to carve here down and the other way for that chip to come out. Now the purpose of that is to put that bridge in the nose. See that? So it doesn't look like a sort of a Klingon look or something. Okay, I'm going to kind of clean this out a little bit, a little more. Now, if you're uh, carving this into your Santa face or whatever fake cowboy face or whatever, I always like to get the nose and the eye sockets in right away when it comes to carving the face. Uh, because what happens is it, it'll kind of get your nose started, get your nose going. And then I like to go away and I like to do other things, find out where the beard is before I start making any kind of uh, details going on. So let's, I'm gonna make this as a Santa Claus. Uh, his cheek is gonna go something like this, come down this way, and the head is gonna come like this. So I'm going away from detailing the nose, detailing the eyes, and then I want to take care of everything else that's around it. And then let's say I want to have a, a mustache coming in. Like that. And you can see how it's starting to come in. Oops. Kind of holding the block of wood a little funny so I can show you in the camera. So it's kind of hard to look at the angle that I'm going here. Now you could take a V-tool and uh, and cut around, around there would cut out what you've just drawn. Or you can take the knife, tip of the knife, and do the same thing as what a V-tool would do. V-tool um, is nice and clean, of course, and it's a lot easier. I like the knife because it's more, um, it's not as perfect, because we don't want it to be perfect. 
especially when you get around the cheeks and you get around the um, the beard and the mustache. I want it to be a little less mechanical. Or you could do what I do. Sometimes I take the do both, take the V tool and just clean it out, and then um, come back and take the the knife and kind of make it a little more irregular. And we come around here like this. And we come back. I'm going with the natural handle of the of the knife. Since I'm right-handed, the like I was mentioning before, that the knife naturally goes this way, so then I would carve this way on one side and then bring the wood around and come back using the same angle of my knife. So you're getting started there. Looks like the uh the left beard is left mustache is a little bigger. We'll work on that a little later. Same thing with the cheek. Carve, carving away, turning around, and then carving away in the other direction. See if you can see that. Same here back. Okay, see so that's a good start. We still got still got a while to go, I suppose, but at least at this we can hold it in such a way that you there we go. You can see we're we're, we're on our way. And of course the beard and the mustache can be of any shape and size you want. But uh, I'm just going to round things off a little bit here. No, before I round things off here, let me just take some things away here. Let's just take some, so it'll be a little easier for me to carve. All right. Now I want to clean out the face. What I want to do is I want to add a little bit of three-dimensionality of it. Uh, you'll notice when I, I carved this way, I carved straight, but that's kind of flat. So I'm going to bring it. Bring, we're going to work on this eye socket first. And what I'm going to do is carve another. Put another down, like I did at the bridge of the nose. Huh. Huh. And it adds a little more three-dimensionality of it, instead of it being a flat face. What you're supposed to do is when you see the character's profile, you want to be able to still see the eyeball. Now one, of the, one thing that I see that's not right here is you can see the forehead is still a little too... Uh, we got too, still got too much forehead. And it's getting a little better. Same with the other side. Clean that out a little bit. Okay, before I get into the eye, I want to straighten out the nose a little bit. That's what I like to do is I like to Work with one little thing a little bit, then go to the next, and then come back again because I want to see how it all fits as we go. Now I want to um, make uh, make the nose have a little detail on the nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to carve a little nostril straight down, and then we're going to create another chip by going at an angle like this. And then we're going to run along the mustache. Come on. And that should pop right out. It did. And you see we're starting to form the nose a little bit there. Same with the other side. Straight down. Had any? Oh, it's ready to pop out already. There. Now we want to take the nose and go about a 30 degree angle this way 
I had that, that, that right there. Yep. In a 30 degree angle this way. I think I cut off a little more on the other side there. See how does that look? So far, so good. And of course, we can get deeper. Uh, you get deeper around the cheeks, deeper around uh, the nose as you go. But again, like I said, I like to get started with the nose and started with the face, and then I like to work around. I'd create, I'd start playing with the beard a little bit, and I'd start playing with the hair a little bit. And then I start playing with the top a little bit, and you know, if he's got a, he's going to have one of these, can have a hat on there. You know, that's just kind of, just for the heck of this. Kind of help things out a little bit is uh, cut that out just to kind of get our bearings here. I mean, if you're really working on your head right now, you would you would figure out how the hat would sit. But I'm just working with the face. Okay. Um, What I want to do is I want to um, round the cheeks off a little bit here. Round the forehead off a little bit. The top of the eye, um, this is almost ready to put the eyeball in, but at the top of the eye what I want to do is just, I want to widen the sweep a little bit. I don't want to dig deep down and create another eye line. Let me put that eye line in there again. Because I just don't want him to look angry. So it's actually, I'm just trimming the forehead actually. When you look at it that way, I'm trimming the forehead. Same thing here. We're just trimming the forehead. Trying to get the anger out of him. So I have a lot of a lot of my uh, students would say that. Uh, just looks a little too angry. Now one other thing I want to do before I put in the eye, the eyeball is remember the eyeball is round and so we want to dig the bridge a little more. And if you want to use a chisel you can do it use a chisel instead. I like using the knife because um, I uh, used to teach uh, beginning wood carving. Uh, this face and uh, beginners usually have just a knife they don't have the whole set of tools and putting in the eyeball um, and uh, maybe the mouth maybe work on the nose a little bit just kind of finishing up on the standard standard face. Mainly I want to focus on the eyeball. Um, here's an example of a carving I just uh, finished, uh, a Viking. Try to look something similar to that. Maybe I'll, if I have time talk a little bit about the beard. I add a little extra pizzazz to the beard. Anyways, let's get started. I want to put my visor on here so I can see a little closer here. Hopefully I can still get into the camera so you could see. I'm going to start by uh, bringing the eye line back in. We certainly would like to start with an eye line. Uh, making sure that the uh, eye area is cleaned up, like I mentioned before, we want to kind of we're going to make a round eyeball, so we want to make sure that there's some indentation at the nose. 
and then we're going to measure the distance between um, I'm going to I'm just going to put in if you have a little measuring device you can do this too uh, let me put this in first and then I'll explain is the eyeball will probably start around around there okay now the distance between here and here is the same between here and here and from here to here is the distance between here to here give or take if at worst case uh, you're off by a little bit so it's okay for it to be a little wide at the nose but if it's a little too narrow at the nose and it uh, might give a should we say a um, cross-eyed effect now generally there's supposed to be a space between here to here and here to this to the edge here to here here to the edge myself I would uh, carve around the chin and side area first before I would put the eye the eyes in but in this little uh, demonstration here I just uh, used just just a, a little block there to uh, demonstrate the eyeball and some of the face so I'm gonna put in an eyeball I'm gonna put in a, a general um, regular eye in this case it goes up kind of sharply and then it slowly comes down almost the same in reverse and especially if this is a uh, um, a Santa Claus that would have a larger cheek they would kind of come sharp this way and then gradually come up over here same thing kind of sharp and come down like that and here kind of sharp and then come slightly down this way. Let's take a look how that, how does that look? Basically kind of okay, sort of good. Now another version that you could do, that I have done, and it depends on what you want to, what kind of face that you want to have. I'm, kind of, I'm just going to round this off. You don't, you don't have to do this. I'm just rounding this off here to, let's pretend that that's the eyeball socket again. And you got your eye line in here. You can do, um, and then here's the nose. The nose kind of comes down this way. Now you could do something like, uh, a sh kind of like this, kind of a character eye, just a, a half circle like that. Depends on how high you want it, how high you want it to be, and then maybe just a little bit down here. I, I just add. A little bit carve a little bit like this and you can do something like that there's all, all kinds of different ways another way that you could do um, especially in the Native American or if you want the eyes to be kind of narrow is instead of rounding like this you can start off by just simply um, doing straight lines sharp like this sharp like this and str they're a straight line basically straight lines you can do that do it like that too okay let's get into the eyeball here I'm gonna take a, a knife a little detailed knife like I said I, uh, I got my visor on so oh excuse me make sure that you can see and I just want to carve around the area that I drew and you're just kind of drawing out with the tip of your knife, not too thick or not too deep, just kind of, just kind of light. Same with coming back here. And you want a kind of a smooth, hopefully smooth, non, non-stopping cut. Being careful not to slip and. Uh, not only cut yourself, but put a nice gouge in, in the cheek. Okay, so you just drew around like that with, the, with your knife. Now what you want to do on the, the corners of the eyes, you want to dig a little deeper. Because think about what we're doing here. Is that we are creating 
a round ball and you're just going to try to take all the stuff away from that is not the eyeball. Got that from I think Michelangelo and his is it Michelangelo and the carving the carving in stone. He sees what he wants in the stone, he just simply chips away at what doesn't belong. And that's the same with this here. And now you're gonna create like a, another chip. You know, four or three angle chip, and you're just gonna pick that out of there like that. Same with this side. I like to do both eyes one side. It depends on what you want to do. You want to do, both, you want to do one eye at a time, but uh, it, it, the reason why I like to do this is less time moving the, moving the piece of wood around. Now you can see right away what's happening here. Let's get a nice close-up here. So you chip that away. See, you're just starting the rounding process. Now you want to carve up just a little bit. And I guess I need it to be just a little bit deeper. And then you want to come down on the eye to complete, complete the ball. Now this would be a good time if you want to just try to smooth it out a little bit. This time I might move the piece around a little bit. And we got a, a round ball in there. Let's see if we can do this around. Is there any? Let's get that little who's he, what's it out of there. So the ball, the eyeball is round. Let's try the other side here. Now this time it came up first. And then come down. Create the eyeball. Okay. Now um, this would be a good time to t to clean out the. I like to clean out the um, pencil marks. And this is a this is where, of course, I should have mentioned before, is a good time to make sure that the tip of your knife is really sharp. We're doing stuff like this. Okay, now one other thing, now I'm gonna start putting the eyelids in. You can use a round chisel, but uh, I like to just uh, scoop a little bit like this. Scoop it, you scoop. If you do use the knife, you're only scooping below the eye. You're not taking any of the eyelid off bottom eyelid out. See this area here is still going to be up. Oops, I may have cut off a little more than I wanted right there. but Now we're going to take a V-tool. This is what I like to do is take a V-tool. And we want to take and cut just above the eye like this. Let me do it once, I suppose. Nice and smooth. And again, you're going to leave the, the closest to the eye, the wood that's closest to the eye is going to be up while you're digging. It would probably be... Well, this is a large V tool, so some uh, probably about like depending on uh, the size of the V tool. That's the problem is is to use the um, what was it the end as a as a guide. Okay, is good so far. Take the knife again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to carve this little, we're going to take the knife and we're going to keep, 
keep coming down. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not carving. I'm just showing you. Now I carve down like that, and we're gonna take just a piece out of there like that. <laughs> Let me show you again over here. Is I'm just gonna come along and continue the cut and just take a little another little chip out like that now I can work on do I want the eye to be a little bigger this one here is a little narrow but you know I can probably leave it and for now and work on it later because I got these little things I gotta peck at and there's basically the eye right there now I would like to wait until after I get the eye in to reform the um, forehead to make sure that we got enough wood there to put in our eye, our, our eyebrow in. So let me work that up a little. You, again, the eyebrow, the bone of the of the skull is high here, and so I want to shape that a little bit. Then I want to shape this area here a little bit. This goes down a little bit. Okay, let's get the profile. See, you get this part here is up, where the forehead goes down into the skull. Now this is also the time to. Uh, Fiddle with it if you don't want him to have the mean luck. Um, it is kind of difficult uh, at this point to um, to get out that. Well, well, it's not that hard. Just a little bit here. So if you want to unmean him or unangry him, is to create more of the line of the of the brow going this way. Up. So let me shape this here, form this here a little bit. Now it's a little better. Now here, here's the problem. There, you look straight on. Okay, he doesn't look so bad. He doesn't look mad. But you know, of course, as you, you're going to put this on the shelf, and unless it's at eye level, here's the other way you can test it: is if you go. Put it in an angle like this, and then if he, really, he still looks mean, then just keep working with it. Unless you want him to be mad, you know, like the mad wizard or something. Okay, eyebrow. Now, there's many, many ways to do the eyebrow. You can just like pencil one in and shape it. I just like to take the V tool. Well, this is a this tool, it's kind of dull a bit here. And just go away from the center <laughs> like that and if you say well gee whiz I think that's too too much eyebrow <laughs> well then you can kind of trim it off a little more here <laughs> if you wish at this time you can also take your V2 and just kind of come across the forehead I mean if this is like a more elderly gentleman you know you might want to put a mark across there. Generally I like to leave it as is. Let me see, I, yeah, I left it on on this guy here. Most of the time I like to leave it out. But if you want to put a an old man look or some crinkly face look. Alright, uh, this would also be a, a good time now that the face, the eyes are in, is to form the cheek a little bit. My finger out of the way. So you want to come down straight and then come around the cheek. And then I want to come at about a 30 degree angle back. 
and hope that that chip pops out of there. Nothing's more frustrating than trying to create a chip and it doesn't pop out. The problem is, is that uh, you create a chip, you you cut, and it doesn't come out. And you cut again, and it doesn't come out again, and you keep cutting, cutting, and it just turns into a lot of little furry pieces in there. The trick is, or the best thing that I can do is, you just need to practice to know where the tip of that knife is, as if you're looking at a um, a block that is transparent. And you can see it, so you're just imagining it. Now, this kind of adds a little extra shadow. I don't know if that's the best way to put it. That adds a little extra value to it. I don't know if that's the best way to put it. You can go a little deeper. I didn't go as deep as I wanted to. I'm just going to leave it at this side here. I want to shape the nose just a little bit. One of the things for sure that we want to do on the nose, uh, being the elderly gentleman, this is even if you're carving women's faces, is you want to carve around the nose deep. Of course, the women's face is not so deep. And we're going to create another chip. So we can see the shadow of the nose. <laughs> nose around the cheek. See that shadow there. Same on the other side. Again, remember I'm right-handed. If you're right-handed, be conscious that you're not carving in this way, that you're carving away from the nose. Now you can carve in this way around the cheek. I already got it all smoothed out, I guess. Now, because of the size of this particular character is small, I don't like to spend too much time on the nose. Is just to put in an angle like this, just enough to show that it's a decent nose. So you carve about, again, a 30 degree angle this way and then this way. Now you want to you could come around and let's see that nostril as you carve into and pull out like that. Let's do that again. See, we're creating that nostril. So you carve in and then pull out like a scoop. See the scoop. Come down on the nose a little bit. You want to, and then you want to round this just a little bit. You can use uh, chisels if you like. If it is easier for you to use chisels, if you got a nice sharp knife, I'd like to. Sometimes I get too lazy and put one tool down and I keep using that tool for a while. <laughs> and clean out the. the, the um, <laughs> pencil mark there. And one, other, one more thing I want to do is just this little carve around this way, finish that round. You can keep the nose as a hook. Sharp hook, like that. I mean, it's like that's not too bad for an old, old guy. But maybe just just take a little bit off too. <sighs> yeah, it's still good too. Now, if you want to put the hole in, I can see this is kind of off kilter a little bit here. Let me play with it. If you want to put the hole of the nostril, on, <sighs> it's very simple. It's just a little. I just put in a little chip. You can you can take a little chisel. And I like to start on the, the far end or the outside first. You're creating a chip. <laughs> and pop that out of there. That's kind of about as much as I want in the nose. Uh, just very quickly, we'll do a, a quick mouth here. Um, this particular character, I think we need to bring this up. I'm gonna, the mouth is very quick and simple. I mean, it's, it's very... Easy to do. Let me get my bigger knife. I got a bigger piece of bigger piece of chunk there. Or you can uh, leave leave it the way it was, and then you could uh, like dig underneath, have no mouth, and you just it gives the impression that the mouth is there. So it's just one less thing you you need or like need to carve. Now you can use a, uh, I'm going to pencil this now, I get to a point where you just, I just grab my tools and whack away, but I'll pencil in this. It's 
not penciling it as well as I wanted to. Because I've been out of practice penciling in the, the mouth. That's not something you want to hear. You can either take a V-tool or you can start with a knife and you're going to carve away from away from the nose again. And again, a lot of times I like to use a knife over a V-tool because it, it's more natural. The cut looks natural and therefore the face looks more natural than it being mechanical. But some people like to start with the V-tool you know, to get it started and then maybe you can just uh, trim it up later. Okay, now here's the important part. This is the thing that I've uh, I've neglected in my earlier days. Is uh, I've been kind of almost leaving it like that, but it kind of looks like you know a dog sticking its tongue out, and that is a problem. And so you want to dig deep, dig, dig, dig deep. Another chip. out of there. Now you got the hole there. You can make them smile, you can make them do whatever you want there. The rest is just simply rounding off. You probably want to round the cheeks off a little more, shape the cheeks off. Uh, the mustache, you might want the mustache to go in towards the nose more, rounding off, so on and so forth. I mean, the rest is more like shaping, but there you have the face with the eyes, the mouth. And like again, like again, like I said, you could just start doing all kinds of shaping and forming. And I just started to do this somewhat, like just somewhat recently, add a little more detail to it. But there you have it, the face and the eye. Again, my name is Russell Scott. You can see my carvings at uh, scottcarvings.com. I also have a connection to my blog site, which has the more recent uh, carvings. But hope to see you out there in the carving world. Bye.